fucking get? You're gonna, are you gonna help me in that? No, you're dead. <laughs> We're ready? engaged to be wed. Why are you messing this up? It's perfect. Alright, ready? One, two, three. We're <laughs> engaged! <laughs> in our other recent videos we got engaged on august 4th 2023 the best day ever and we just thought that we would do a video explaining what happened we have some questions we're going to answer from you guys on instagram i feel like everyone loves a good proposal story so yeah we're going to give you ours hopefully by now you've seen our engagement videos the ones that we've edited together obviously those look so picture perfect and like beautiful which that day was mm -hmm. amazing but um, we did have some mishaps throughout the day, so like we thought it'd be fun to just share like the BTS version of how the day mm -hmm. went like in real time. But if you do want to see those videos, we do have our TikTok account if you guys don't already follow it. Chrissy and Matthew. The first question we get, and this is a good way to go into this, people are always asking Christy if she knew it was coming. So I didn't know exactly that it was coming, but we had talked about obviously getting engaged. We had been ring shopping before. We always knew that it would be a special week because Matthew's family was out from Colorado. I was like, that would be really special, but we've also had a really chaotic last like two months. So I was like, it would also make sense if he doesn't do it. But that week, he was so different. Like I am a very particular planned person and Matthew's very like, are we in a rush? Like no plans. So we're like totally opposite. Started earlier in the week and I wanted to do a walk that I love on like Tuesday. And Matthew's like, no, I really think we should do that on Friday. And I'm like, well, babe, we can walk it more than once. Like it's just a really pretty walk. And he's like, no, I just think that we should really keep that for Friday. I'm like, okay. And then I think I tried to do it again later in the week. And then on that day of, he was super particular. So Christy is very much more, she's very more organized. Like she's very, when it comes to scheduling, just sort of type A, where she really has to like have things scheduled out, when and how and where, which is fine. And it's like really beneficial that one of us is that way in our relationship, where I am very much just aloof. Mm -hmm. You know, I like have a general structure for things, but if they change, like it doesn't bother me at all. I am really big about being on time and etiquette. So to even plan something like to sneak away for a couple hours to ask her parents for their blessing was like something I had to strategize and plan out with her sister, like so that Rosie would get Christy to step away for a little bit and all that. And then Rosie was like, Matt, you should totally hire a photographer. And I was like, oh, that's a great idea. But that's another element of schedule and planning. We knew the place, which was like this place on the rocks where you had always walked to as a kid to like pray and reflect on your life and the things you're grateful for. And I remember once you told me that that was where you would like pray to God about your future husband and stuff. So I just thought it would be serendipitous and beautiful if I was to propose there. Um, and it's not far from where we live now, but it's this amazingly beautiful place. So I made it about showing my parents that area. Like that was our whole reason for this walk was so that I could show my parents that place. So Christy was like, let's do that walk on like Tuesday and then we can go again on Friday. And I'm like, well, no, because then the, my parents are gonna see it on Tuesday and then what's the point of going Friday? And Friday was obviously when I was gonna propose. Okay, so fast forward. Yeah. So then the day of, we were supposed to be at the location at 3 p.m. for the photographer. Well, we decided to go kayaking in the ocean. Christy, myself, my stepfather, my mother, and then Christy's mother, Angie. And it was all good when we were going out, yeah. and then we got stuck in a current. The guys at this place were like, be careful getting out there because it's yeah, easy to go it. that way because the current but turning around is gonna take you about twice as long. We get out there and the whole time everyone's like da di da, taking their time. Christy and I shared a kayak and so I'm behind her on my phone like, I knew we weren't gonna make 3 p.m. so I'm texting the photographer, hey, can we push it to four? She was so great, I was like, yeah, no problem. Then I had to text her again later on. Christy's getting mad, she's like, why are you on your phone? We're like in the middle of the ocean with our family and he's like texting and I'm like, can you just get off your phone for a minute? Yeah, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm sitting over here panicking, trying so hard to just um, keep it pleasant. So I'm like, oh, I'm just texting my really good buddy. Jarrett is also our pastor. So I was like, oh, I'm texting the, my pastor. Long story short, it does, we don't end up getting back 
till like 2.30. Yeah, we got caught out there. The current was not letting us move. And our mothers are like way behind us. And Matthew just starts powering through. He's like, we got to get back to shore. And so he's hammering us. We leave our like moms out in the middle of the ocean. My mom had never been kayaking. And I'm like, this is weird that he's like rushing so bad. And then when we were leaving there, we all finally did get back safe to shore. He's like, okay, we need to be at the boardwalk at four o'clock. And he just drew the line. And I was like... Okay. Yeah, and it was like three. So yeah. I we had to go home from where we were. First, we had to wait for our parents to come in. Yeah. Then we had to give the kayaks back, everything, get in the car, drive home, shower. Everyone had to shower and change mm -hmm. and then leave, go. like. And I'm pretty good with scheduling. I'm like, okay, it's three right now. With all that, we're definitely not going to be there by four. We had to push it to five. <sighs> so then we finally get there. And... At this point, I'm acting weird for sure. Yeah, we were driving there and he wasn't really saying anything and he was just all quiet. His mom was videotaping us in the back seat yeah. and she also made sure I had my nails done and she was like, I need to get a pedicure. And so then I looked at her toes and they were perfect. And I'm like, but that also kind of makes sense for Renee. Like I can see her needing just a perfect pedicure at all times. So that was also a little hint um, and then yeah, definitely him setting the time. I was like, okay, so I put on a dress that was like not fancy, but I wouldn't mind getting engaged in, you know, mm -hmm. and um, we drove, he was acting weird. We started walking out and he wasn't really saying anything and his parents weren't really saying anything. It was weird, honestly, yeah. there, was some t there was some tension in the air. It was definitely strange, but um, so I told my mom, I told my mom, I go, look, we're gonna walk down this path and then we're gonna get to this place. And I'm gonna pull Christy away. Listen, I pride myself on my ability to speak through awkwardness or like hold my composure when things are weird. You know, I audition a million times in my life for acting roles and you know, I've been on TV and have been in super like extremely awkward or difficult situations. And so I like have always thought that I could handle it really well given the circumstances. So I was like, you know, everyone always talks about how proposing is nerve wracking. And I was like, but I'll be able to get through this so easy. No problem. <laughs> Wrong. I've never been more nervous in my life. I had a whole thing like planned. Didn't remember a word of what I was going to say, but I pulled Christy away to this like rock edge, which was my special rock edge. And I was like, I don't, I was like, didn't know what to say. I think you just said, I, I love you so much. And then you went like this. <laughs> and we just lied there like this. It was, it was like our and first date. It was like a first date. It was so awkward. Yeah. <laughs> I remember thinking like, am I going to, should I say like a fun fact about sharks or something? <laughs> I, I didn't know what to say. I was literally speechless. It was yeah. so, I've never been more nervous in my life. Actually, never. Not that I can think of. So the night before... I had had a dream, like the, the night before I just had my proposal, a dream on repeat. And it, during the proposal, something would happen that like didn't go well. And one of those things was that I put the ring box in my pocket and Christy noticed it and was like, what's in your pocket? And I was like, nothing, nothing. She's like, no, tell me what's in your pocket. And it ruined the surprise. So in my sleep the night before, I had thought about putting the ring box in my cowboy boots. <laughs> which was a great idea, except for when it came time for me to pull it out, it got stuck. Yeah, so we were sitting there and he's like, okay, let's go. And so we start walking away and I notice he's not beside me anymore. And so I turn around <laughs> and he's digging in his boot and you were just digging for it. And I was like, what is going on? <laughs> and then he finally pulled it out. And then he did have a really nice, Spiel. What I said was really sweet, but it wasn't what I had been planning. I just spoke from the heart. It was it yeah. was amazing. Yeah, and then she said yes, and it was so great. Yeah, and my family, so my family was all there. They had come out from the bushes. They were watching the whole thing. Yeah. And then we just celebrated with our families. We popped non-alcoholic champagne, mm -hmm. and then we just walked over to a restaurant in Seashell, and we just celebrated and had dinner. And mm -hmm. yeah, it was really great. Called was... each other fiance. 500 times yeah. <laughs> and it was it was so special he yeah. did so good it was good it all, the plane landed safely there was yeah. some rough starts but we got it down and it was all good yeah. but we Made got for a good story though yeah i think it's a great story yeah yeah and not very many people can say they almost got lost to see the day of their proposal but all went well in the end but we got some questions from people yeah. 
Uh, Christy put out a thing on Instagram asking if anyone had questions in regards to our engagement. How long was he planning this? I had been planning the proposal for probably uh, four or five months. We got the ring custom made through Spence Diamonds and so there's that process of going back and forth with them and making sure that it's all like, exactly how we wanted and that takes time. Did your family know? Yes. Yeah. They both knew. Yeah. It was really special because instead of just asking my dad for permission, he asked my mom as well. And then of course my sister was involved in the whole thing with the little details. So it was really special that they both knew. My mom actually, when I first met Christy, I said she's going to be my wife. Yeah, after like a month of dating. You were telling everybody in Colorado when you first yeah. went back. My mom, my, fr my family friends, different people that we had known. Uh, yeah, they had all said, like, man, Matthew was saying you're going to be his wife right. from the beginning. Which leads us into somebody asking, why did we get engaged so soon in our relationship? Why did we get engaged so soon? This is actually one of my favorite questions. So first, okay, so I'm in my 30s. Christy's in her mid 20s. I don't think a year is super quick. No, and to be fair, like we have had a very unique year. Like we, we spend 24 seven together. We work from home, we work out from home. We've been living together. We've also gone through a lot as a couple and individually. We've grown a lot as a couple and individually. Mm -hmm. We've pushed each other a lot. We've like, I really feel like we've lived like at least four years together in the past year. Time is so relevant, right? Mm -hmm. So like someone could be together for five years and both people within that five year relationship have full-time jobs like yeah. that they separate. So they're away from each other 50 hours a week and they're yeah. only together at nights so when they're sleeping and on weekends, we're together 24 yeah. seven. So I would argue that the amount of time we've actually spent together yeah. is like equivalent to someone and who's I been together And I think there's actually, years. there's studies that shows that people know within three months of being with somebody if they want to marry them. Yeah, I, I don't feel like it was soon. Like yeah. I, don't, I don't feel like it was Well, quick. we talked about it even earlier than that. Like. This was always kind of the plan. Actually, I've been waiting. I want to insert this clip because this was at our very beginning of our relationship in like September and you told everyone that your intention was to marry me and that was literally like two months in. Do you and Matthew plan on getting married? Yes. I love that. <laughs> That's the plan, obviously. <laughs> I know. Yeah, we talked about that a lot. I definitely wouldn't be living with you if I didn't intend mm -hmm. on us getting married. Yeah, I think our foundation is built on the forever. Which I think it's just, we were really straightforward from the very beginning. We knew what each other were looking for. We were very serious really quickly. Um, and I think just there's com there's power in the commitment. So if we choose each other, we're gonna continue to choose each other. And we knew that our values aligned, we aligned as people, we were better together. And I think God just really made it clear to us that we were meant for other and mm -hmm. so we just trusted that and dove in and committed. When will the wedding be? We've talked about it. Yeah we're thinking early 2025. We're not in any sort of rush. We might do it a uh, more intimate wedding just him and I sooner just because mm -hmm. we are he's American I'm Canadian so we might do something just really special and intimate the two of us but our actual wedding ceremony and everything will be probably beginning of 2025. Mm -hmm. We just A lot of couples say that it doesn't feel super different when you get engaged and although we had been on the same page about it for, from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Like we would never have lived together if we weren't like both totally transparent about our intentions to be together forever. Like mm -hmm. we weren't like testing out the waters and living together. Um, but then the engagement just made that, like solidified that more. It helped us make some big decisions that we had to make as a couple. And, yeah. and then the last one is any honeymoon ideas. So we already know that we want to do a destination wedding. I think for our honeymoon, it will just be spending that week with our family yeah. we are so blessed to be able to experience so much together already we it's so funny so i had literally never even thought about a honeymoon right until yeah. just right now <laughs> i had not even i was like honeymoon what is a honeymoon oh yeah, yeah we travel after the wedding yeah christy and i are so blessed that our life is so like full of excitement mm -hmm. that we get to honeymoon all the time like yeah. that our life is a honeymoon and it's going to be really special because his family is all from Colorado. Mine's obviously from Canada on the Sunshine Coast. And so it's going to give our families a chance to hang out for the week. And that, I think, is going to be really, really special and really important. Fiance. I love you, fiance. Fiance. Oh, you look so blingy. This is my fiance. Wow. Your right hand it must be so heavy. Uh. Wow. Love you. Love you.
We are obviously back on YouTube now. We're super excited about this next chapter. Like Matthew mentioned, we're going to be doing some RVing around the United States. We've got a ton of fun adventures coming up and we're going to be documenting it all here. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you guys subscribe. You can follow us both on our own platforms and then as well as our TikTok is our short form content. But we're excited and we're engaged. We're engaged.